Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, hey, folks, I'm playing for you. Series videos I do for the while. Go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, and folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. For the second day in the row, I just went out to go buy some simple shit, and I found something random as fuck to review. So there you go. But anyway, it's super simple format, folks. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items. I'm going to yam around about it for a bit, and because it's getting a little bit later in the day, I might be a little bit lower energy. Things might get a little bit wacky. Who knows what happens when it comes to late night branded. I mean, it's not actually that late. It's 7 o'clock time I'm doing this, but, you know. Anyway, uh, I'm inside my truck. Whilst well, I'm inside my truck, I'm doing something else. I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, why I wear super cool shirts? I like to highlight the super cool shirt. Super cool shirt am I wearing today? Well, folks, it's still my boom, my Mega Ran shirt, which is, God, this is going to be like the sixth or seventh one today that I've done while wearing this shirt. So many reviews. Uh, but yes, if you're not familiar with Mega Ran, uh, he is a nerdcore rapper slash hip-hop uh, musical artist slash just extremely good dude slash teacher slash all kinds of stuff. Uh, author. He wrote a book. But yeah, Mega Rand is fantastic. He is probably most famous for his nerdcore um, albums, which if you're not familiar with nerdcore, it is a like subgenre of rap and hip-hop that basically focuses on like nerd-oriented stuff, be it cartoons or anime video games even more serious things like coding and you know just whatever typical nerd stuff might be a D, D, you know as you do i'm a big fan of the genre and for me personally at the top of that that particular hill has got to be mega ran i've gotten the opportunity to see him perform a number of times i've got to hang out with him a little bit he's an extremely good dude i actually have videos of said performances on this channel just in case you're interested but anyway what am I trying for y'all today, folks? Well, because I had to, because it's pretty much tailor-made for this show. Boom! It is Jones. Can we get it? Huh? Uh, it is Jones Special Release Soda Hatch Chili and Lime Flavor. Soda. Hatch Chili and Lime Flavored Soda. Yup. That's the thing. I mean, if not if not made for this show, then what is? Really? This is exactly the type of stuff that I review for this show. But yeah, it's by Jones Soda, which, uh, yeah, to Chicago. Where are they from? Um, it just says Jones Soda Co. It doesn't actually say where they're from. But, like, I think they're, wait... Oh, no, they're out, they're actually out of fucking Seattle. Oh, shit, okay. And it's a product of Canada. For some reason, I thought it was, like, to the local to the Midwest. But anyway, yeah, Jones Soda, they're an independent uh, soda company. They're fairly famous for, like, their photos. You know, a lot of times they'll have, like, photos of fans or other things on it. And, uh, you know, they make some some sodas, interesting flavored ones. This will actually be, I believe, the first one that I've directly reviewed on here. With the exception of, I believe, their cream soda that I did for my cream soda special. Which, go watch those videos. I made four of them, and hardly anybody watched them. <laughs> Let's drink some chili lime flavored soda, because... Yes! Oh, wow. Rethinking my decisions in life. Wow, that, that smells a lot like chilies. Like, a lot like chilies. Like an uncomfortable amount to be in a soda like chilies. And then we do. Alright. Well. Good news is. It doesn't taste as much like chili. As it smelled like. Because it straight up smelled like. just When you just open up like a bottle of chilies. Like it was oof, right to the nose. Um, does still taste like chili, but it's more palatable than I thought it was. But that's not saying a lot. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. Um. Well. It's not horrible. It's actually somewhat reasonable. It. They did the smart thing. And I figured that Joan Soda would. Because, like, Joan Soda, like, they're, you know, they've been doing this a while. They, you know, even if it's going to be something gimmicky, they're going to try to find some sort of way to make it palatable. Um, did they completely succeed? No. Uh, ha, ha, ha. It, it's not bad, but it is very unusual. It is certainly not a go-to soda for me. But... Not as bad as I was expecting, by any stretch of the imagination. The interesting thing is, they actually do a pretty good job of blending the flavors together. Like, they managed to go over there, because like they could have basically done it one of two ways, at least what I figured. Either one, they were going to go full on chili and just have it be stupid, or they were going to go full on lime and just have like a hint of chili and kind of cop out. But they really didn't. They actually definitely did go through the process of trying to make it blend into something vaguely cohesive. Now, that all said, the fundamental problem is, is while chili and lime certainly do work as a flavor pairing, the qualities that make them appealing as said flavor pairing, do not really coalesce well in soda format. Because, it's not, I'll say this, it's not spicy. It's not spicy. There's like a little bit of a kick, but it, it, it's not like a spicy soda. I've had spicy sodas. It's not that. But, it has like a pepper taste to it. Not a spicy taste, but like a pepper taste. Like just, you know, like like fresh peppers, has that kind of taste to it, but it's mixed in with the lime. So you end up with this sort of mildly, very mildly spicy, but more earthy kind of flavor from the peppers, and then sort of like a citrus sour hit from the lime. But it's neither that spicy or that citrusy. Like, it's not spicy or sour it's just weird the initial hit is almost doable it's like it's almost an undefinable cola or not cola but it's almost an undefinable soda taste that initial hit it's like just sort of cool and carbonated and then there's like some flavors that your brain is going to have a hard time trying to rationalize then as the flavors kind of separate as it you know starts to fade a little bit that's where you get a little bit more distinction the real downside to it is the aftertaste because the aftertaste is basically the taste of like just eating a straight up raw green pepper it has a sort of like earthy bitterness to it that is not that nice. And then you, after that, the very end, you get a little bit of a kick from the spice. Just goes kind of right to the back of your throat, doesn't linger. It's there and then it's gone. I don't think that I ever wanted to drink a bell pepper. Like, and I've had sodas that use, like, chili and stuff like that as a flavoring, but usually it's for the spice. It's for the kick. This is going more for the vegetable aspect of it. And it's weird. It's very weird. Um, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Yes, asterisk. Yes, asterisk. Would I get it again? Maybe. But not because I particularly like it. I can't say that I do. I don't hate it. But it's not a thing that I would drink just for shits and giggles. It is, however, something that, if it's around long enough, and I can't imagine it would be, I would maybe drink it 
out of just sheer curiosity again, like if enough time passed in between, I might wonder what the fuck with that again and give it a go. Should you recommend it? Yes, but again, asterisk. I'm not going to recommend that you try it because I think you're going to particularly like it. You might. Maybe you're somebody who's into like vegetable juice and things like that and such. Maybe this will be more appealing in that regard. I have no fucking clue. I don't know who this would be for. Besides, people who want to just try it for a bit of a laugh. Now, here's the thing. It's not so absurd that it's ridiculous. If you're expecting something super ridiculous, you're going to be disappointed. But if you go into it expecting something unique, something you haven't tried before, it will definitely fill that quota for you. I can just about promise you that. So kind of take that away from it. And as far as everything else is concerned, I mean, it's, yeah, it's weird. You saw me drink it. I drank it. I think I get to go into heaven now. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Money, much, rest of your Spend the rest of your Folks, go there and have yourselves a truly... Other flavor Jones soda than this rest of your life. Uh, what's a good one they have? They're, uh, don't, I think they have like a... Their sour apple's pretty good. I mean, I'm not a big sour apple guy, but it's, got, it's good soda. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But we do can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. And folks, it's not always the easiest thing to do in the world, especially when you have confusing sodas that make your brain feel funny and you don't know how to feel about your life anymore. It's important when we run into those situations where we're frustrated, what have you. Take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, hopefully to better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, here's what I want you to do. You know what? I don't even know. I was going to say don't try this, but then I'm not going to say that. Maybe other people should try this. Maybe everyone should try it. Maybe if we all drink it, we'll ascend to some sort of higher plane of existence. I really don't know. I can't be sure of anything anymore. It's late. I have Transformers that I bought at Target to go home and put together. So you all have a good one. <laughs>